hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will work on class binding or style binding in angular so basically class binding is used to add or remove classes to and from the HTML elements and you can also add CSS classes conditionally to an element hence creating a dynamically styled element so angular provide three ways uh, to add or remove uh, add or remove classes uh, the first one is uh, to using the dom which is class name property and the second one is uh, um, the shortened which is class and the third one is to use the ng class directive so let me just give you some example on class binding so if we open our uh, text editor I am using Visual Studio Code and now I will just give you some basic examples on what is class binding so let's just create a h2 tag uh, and inside that h2 tag I, I just typed uh, coding cafe and if we check our body component or CSS class I created a, a CSS uh, class or property which is dot text hyphen warning and its color is equals to yellow so now to apply a class to this element is using the class attribute so right here we will type class is equal to and we will type this name right here which is text warning and now if we check our browser as you can see right here the coding cafe color is now changed to yellow so this is a very basic example so now to use class binding we need to declare a new property uh, so we will go back to the body.component.ts file so we will type uh, public and uh, the name of the property will be warning and class it will be equals to text warning and then a semicolon which is our CSS property text warning so now to use this property in our template uh, we need to go back to the uh, body.compend.html and we will create another h2 tag and now to add that property right here uh, we need to use the brackets and then class equals to the warning class property and now if we check our browser as you can see right here the coding cafe color or the font color is changed to yellow so now what will the angular do if we uh, both apply a class attribute uh, and a class binding to a template so for that we will create another h2 element and then we will type coding cafe and now for, uh, let's just first create a CSS property and we will call this as uh, text bold text bold and this will be equals to so font style will be bold and now let's just get back and now we will add a class a class or of text bold and a class binding will be equals to the text warning property add a brackets right here because it is class binding so it will be equals to class warning so now if we save this and check our browser and you can see right here the text color is yellow but the uh, font style is not applied to this HTML element 
so a regular class attribute becomes dummy in the presence of a class binding you can either use class binding or the class attribute you cannot use both at the same time okay guys so now let me just give you another example on class binding so there is another uh, syntax in uh, class binding and what uh, what does that syntax uh, syntax do is to apply a class based on an expression that could be either true or false so let us just do an example on that so first we will create a h2 tag and then i will create another property the property name will be condition and it will be equals to true so now i want to apply this uh, text green uh, css property to this h2 tag if the this condition property is true so if the condition property is true true then the then this green color will be applied and if it is false then the green color will not be applied to this h2 tag so how we will do that we will add a bracket and then class dot followed by the name of the class which is text green and this will be equals to the condition property so now the condition property is equals to true so the text green color will be applied to this uh, h2 tag so now if we check our browser as you can see right here the color is now green okay the font color is green because the condition is equals to true and if we change it to false and now if we check our browser there is no more green color to this text font it is now changed to black color so this this method works when we only want to conditionally apply a single class but if we want to apply multiple classes angular provides us the ng class directive so now let me just give you an example on the ng class directive so for that we will create a new property first we will create a property for the bold so is bold will be equals to true and now we will create another property its name will be ng class example and it will be equals to so now if the text warning text warning is not this dot and then this condition property and the text green will be this dot the condition property and after that the text bold class is set to this dot the is bold property and now we will add a new h2 tag right here and we will type coding cafe and then the ng ng class directive will be equals to the ng class example property so what will happen when the angular identifies this ng class example property 
so it will first check which classes or properties are set to true and false so right now the condition property is false and the is bold is true so the condition property is false so it will apply the text warning CSS property and its color is yellow so the h2 tag color will be yellow and the, this text green will be skipped and then it will come to this one this is also set to true so the text font will be bold so now if we check our browser as you can see right here the text font and color is applied and also the text font is bold and now if we change this condition to true so now the text warning color will be skipped and it will jump to this green color and it will also be bold as you can see right here now the text color is now changed to green and let's just uh, change this property to italic and we will also change this name to italic copy this paste it right here change this to is italic and also this one too is italic and change this text bold to text italic and now we will see the difference if uh, these conditions are working or not so now when we run this uh, it will apply the green color and also the text font will be italic and as you can see right here now coding cafe changed to italic and the color is green so in this way you can use the ng class directive so guys class binding is very uh, easy to understand and these are some uh, example about class binding in angular so i hope you understand and thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe